All right, the Eagles are coming to Kansas City for a little Super Bowl rematch. They've got unfinished yeah. business. Uh, so mm-hmm. if this is a potential Super Bowl rematch, should Andy Reid and the Chiefs keep some tricks under their sleeve, or should they let it all out? Well, so th- that's a, actually a really interesting question, which is do you want to keep some things in reserve if you have to play this team again? And the answer to that question is, you know, yes and no. I, for instance, there has been a lot of questions about the usage of two chief players in particular, and that's Kadarius Toney and Jarek McKinnon. And I am of, and this is, by the way, very polarizing within kind of the Chiefs community, if you will, about what's happening. Did McKinnon get old? Is Tony just not as good as people thought he was? All these things. I am strongly of the belief that the Chiefs know with Tony, he cannot stay healthy for an entire season. That has been the knock on him his whole pro career. And McKinnon is a running back into his 30s. I want. I mean, how old is Jet McKinnon? I'm going to check real I know quick. He's that I old. think he's, he's 32, which for a running back, or 31, pardon me, which for a running back makes him one of the older running backs in the league. Tony's very young, but injury prone. Jarek McKinnon, who had the nine touchdown good. catches as a running back last year, he's really good. So I believe the Chiefs are not necessarily like saving plays, but saving wear and tear on those two players specifically. I think that they are really trying to make sure those guys are, give them the best chance they have of being healthy going into the, or going into the stretch run. Now, now when it comes to playing the Eagles, I wouldn't hold anything reserve in reserve with one exception. If, by some chance, and the and the odds of this being the case are incredibly low, but if by some chance Steve Spagnolo, the Chiefs defensive coordinator, has figured out how to stop the brotherly shove, I wouldn't show the world that I have figured that out yet. If somehow he has actually, like they have realized, wait, there is a way to stop it, here's what we do, I would keep that in reserve. But other than that, you try to go win this football game because you are in such an advantageous position for being able to get the one seed. The the big story from a Chiefs perspective this, uh, this weekend was the Chiefs hit a five team parlay on best case scenario losses. So The Dolphins didn't play. They lead the AFC East. But the last time they did play, the Chiefs beat them. But this weekend, without playing, the AFC North leader, Ravens, lost. The AFC South leader, Jaguars, lost. A team that has given the Chiefs some trouble, the Bengals, lost. A team that a lot of people thought was going to, this was going to be the year. The Bills, they lost and fired their coordinator. And a team that I have no fear of whatsoever, but is in the division and theoretically could try to run down the Chiefs for the division title, the Chargers, they lost. So all of the teams the Chiefs would have wanted to lose this weekend lost. And so their ability to lock up the one seed earlier than expected is very possible. Now, if you're going to lose a game, you always want to lose non-conference games rather than conference games. But beating Philly off the bye would send a signal to the rest of the league that the a lot of the hand-wringing about the Chiefs was overstated. And one other, one other kind of long-term prediction when you look at the schedule, I think... so. Week 17, second to last week of the year, on New Year's Eve, the Bengals come to Arrowhead, also known, if you're a Cincinnati fan, as Burrowhead Stadium. I think two things are going to happen in that nationally televised one of the games of the year, Demonse. I think the Chiefs will lock up the one seed with a week to play, and I think the Bengals will be officially eliminated from the playoffs. I think with a week left, 
Because the Bengals, if, when we'll talk about them in a moment, they lose tonight. They fall to five and five. They're damn. They don't have to quite run the table. They probably have to go to six and one the rest of the way. I think that is going to be the final Burrowhead Stadium revenge. Is the Chiefs not eliminating them from the playoffs while locking up the one seed on uh, December thirty first in Week seventeen? You have a follow up here, Demaze. Oh well, I mean, I feel like you kind of answered it, but this game, Mahomes is obvious. You said. That. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.